All right. Hi, Cancer. How much do you love hair in my face? I mean, hair in my voice. And they don't see my face right now, but hair in my voice and seeing my cards. <laughs> I wonder how Cancer feels about me. <laughs> Sometimes I do. All right, Cancer. This is your reading for this week. Let's see what's going on in your love life. All righty. Okay, Cancer, the root of the reading is the page of wands. I feel like you're excited, but then you're also not excited. Why won't you let yourself just be excited? <laughs> Alright, recent past energy is the four of wands. It's lit. Alright, present energy is the eight of cups, right? So we're letting things go and we're moving forward, but you know, it's we're letting things go. Of, we're letting go of things that are a little hard for us to let go of. So it's going to take some time. So I feel like some of you guys may feel like, you know, it's just really hard to break this certain habit or it's really hard to let go of this certain person or it's really hard to release, you know, these emotions from the past and you feel like you're not doing it, but you are doing it. You are doing it. So that's confirmation for you. You are really moving on. Don't worry. You really are moving on. You really are transcending. That's good, Gemini. I mean, Cancer, because I know it's Cancer. It's really hard for us to let go of things. I mean, I'm not Cancer, but I'm saying us. It's because I identify with you guys. Um, but I feel like, you know, as Cancer, it's really hard for us to let things go and for us to move forward and for us to let... Because we're, because as Cancer, you guys are so heart-focused. You guys are so loving. You guys really do come from a really, really, really loving place. And so when things don't go right or when, you end, and when it ends up being something that's not so good for you then you know we feel like okay well it hurts it really does um because you're so heart focused um but you really learning that you know what it doesn't mean anything about me what they do has to do with them it doesn't have anything to do with me or my value or my worth you know so you really are doing the work and I feel like the reason why it didn't come out upright is because you don't think that you're walking away. But you are walking away from things. And it's things that are just hard for people to walk away from. But it doesn't matter because you're doing it. Okay? You're making those positive changes. So, you know, don't doubt that. Especially this week. It could feel like a test. But you're, you really are walking away. Okay? Alright. So your challenge and your focus is the Queen of Wands. Okay? So that's nice. Maybe there is a particular woman in your life. It's very beautiful, very sexy. The Queen of Wands is very sexy, very alluring, extremely attractive. This woman is extremely, and she knows she's attractive. <laughs> you don't have to tell her, she knows. <laughs> um, or, you know, that's you guys. Maybe you're focused on your, especially if you have Leo in your rising or your moon or even your sun. Um, you're definitely focused on, upon yourself, upon leveling up, upon being confident. And if you're a man, then this is the woman that you're focused upon. Because I see here that in the past, there is a relationship here in the past. Um, so that's really positive. Conscious thoughts and our desires to the Seven of Pentacles. You are waiting upon something, Seven of Pentacles. So you're waiting upon something to materialize. You're waiting and seeing still. You're probably still waiting and seeing because in the root of your reading, you're not, ex you're not totally optimistic about something. All right? Now, I'm going to pull this over. After we're done clarifying the rest of the cards, you have to hang out. All right, <laughs> that's my way of getting you out. So hang out. <laughs> okay, so you gotta wait. <laughs> I know you're wondering, okay, why is this on the side? Because I feel like I need to clarify that. This card fell out like this. I turned it up right because it bothers me. I hate when the cards fall out this way, but I know that's a message. So I just wanted to remember that it came out this way. All right. Okay, so recent past four of wands. This is a nice connection, okay? But it's really positive. I really feel like you guys, um, if you guys were recently single in the past, then, um, you know, this was you guys getting to a place of feeling happy about being single and truly happy. If this, if this is a single energy, this is someone who's single dating, you know, getting to know lots of people, maybe getting to know someone in particular that really makes you feel happy, but you're not tied down and you're happy, you know, 
or if this is someone who's in a connection then your your relationship you're happy about your relationship in the recent past you still are happy but you're happy about it in the recent past but you're also maintaining your own independence okay and you're both you're both not mooching off each other and and feeding off each other in a codependent way you're both getting to a place where you feel more independent and you can allow the love to really grow and it's not codependent so let's see why we have um the four of wands energy in the recent past it's because of the five of wands i think it was a little bit of a struggle i think you've definitely struggled with something if this is a connection you definitely struggled with maybe a particular character the king of wands maybe an overbearing individual or okay and if that's if you're single right this would maybe the person you're with maybe he was overbearing maybe he wasn't bearing enough you know maybe this person was kind of a wallflower like this is Ew, imagine, like, this is not attractive. A King of Wands reverse is just not attractive. He's either overbearing, he's overwhelming, he's a, he's like a tyrant, or he's someone who, like, has confidence issues and it's not attractive at all. And maybe it was hard for you to move on from this person, or, you know, maybe this person was just really hard for you to deal with, and it was a little bit of a fight. It could also be that maybe this was a third party situation where there was a king of wands who was just interfering. This person reverse knows no boundaries. Either he doesn't know how to claim his own boundaries and be like, okay, that's my lady. So you're not going to talk to her. Or he's the kind of person who is like a narcissist and just doesn't understand that he's a separate person from this other person. And you need to let this other person thrive and flourish and step out of their relationship. And if you're single, or if you were single in the past, then, you know, you're moving on from this sort of person. But once again, this person doesn't know how to let go in the right way. The King of Wands reversed, he doesn't know how to, it's overbearing, okay? Overbearing is just a word. <laughs> um, so you're really celebrating coming to a place, coming to this place because you feel really solid and you felt really solid. You felt really good despite all of this craziness in the recent past, which... Congratulations, because it's really hard to shake that energy. Others of you guys, though, maybe you had a hard time feeling optimistic. Remember, the distant past, we had this Princess of Wands energy. So if this, this could be anything. It could be a connection. It could be someone who's single. It could be someone who is in a relationship. And it was just not easy in the beginning. It wasn't like it started off perfect. It definitely was good. It had a lot of promise. It still does have a lot of promise. But it, you know, it was still their hookup. It was still hiccups along the way. So the present energy is the Eight of Cups. What are we walking away from? What changes are we making? We're walking away from, we're moving on from past baggage. All right, we're shedding old baggages. You know, we're shedding old, this is hard. This is hard. So you're shedding all of that. Let's see why, because of the Hermit reversed. Okay, so I feel like whatever this was, it maybe it kept you kind of, Reclused, even though you didn't want to be a recluse it was kind of cheating you of your happiness and probably both of you guys maybe this situation whatever this baggage was that you're letting go of it caused both of you guys to be in a place where maybe you wanted to be with this person and this other person wanted to be with you but there was just something dividing the two of you guys and if you check it if you really really look at it even though maybe it was a person because I'm seeing an overbearing character I'm definitely seeing someone who's overbearing um or, and also someone who has to kind of take a step back because of this person who's so overbearing. In order to avoid an argument, you have to kind of like wilt down a little bit. So because of that, you know, it, I mean, you couldn't be together, right? And it, it forced you guys into isolation when you didn't want to be in isolation. For others of you guys, though, I think self-reflection is needed, especially if you're single. I think self-reflection is needed and self-reflection is wanted. You are wanting to self-reflect, but it's hard to reflect upon yourself and it's hard to reflect upon things when you've got excess baggage. Challenge and the focus, Queen of Wands. Let's see what this lady's talking about. What's she doing? What's she trying to do? Now, she's trying to get you to, sh to shed the old. Like she's trying to get you to like open up and not be so guarded, you know? And maybe this is, this is if you're a man, and then this is a woman who is, you know, very, she's like, she's trying to be more open. You know what I mean? Like, she's definitely not being paranoid. She's coming up as this energy here. So she's coming up as this um, queen, this knight of cups. So she's trying to be more expressive in her vocabulary. Maybe before she was very guarded and indecisive. And maybe she, you know, 
And if that's you, right, and you're the Queen of Wands, because you can show up as the Queen of Wands, um, and you're also working on not being so guarded within a connection, or just guarded in general so you can attract a connection, this energy is very, it's unattractive. And not in the way that it's ugly, but it's unattractive as in it doesn't attract. Um, it's repulsive. It repels um, any sort of loving connection. It really does. Because, you know, if someone loves you or if someone wants to get to know who you really are and you're standing and kind of showing that energy, people who are in a certain vibration will not be attracted to that. Like, they're just, you're not going to get into connections or into relationships that are healthy when you have this sort of energy. Okay? You're going to attract people who know that vibration because they know that that's what they put out. They know that they're like that. So they're used to that reaction from people because they're someone you need to be guarded against, <laughs> you know? All right, so let's see um, why this is the challenge and the focus. Death reversed, five of cups reversed. Um, it. You got to let go of the paranoia. It's blocking you from transforming. And this transformation is allowing a union to take place, but you gotta transform. And it's, it's a transformation. I don't think it's a difficult transformation. Maybe you think it's difficult. This transformation in itself is not difficult. These emotions and these behavioral patterns, these habits are difficult to let go of, right? This transformation is super easy. You just don't see it that way because you're paranoid or because you were paranoid and I think you're realizing that hey you know what I have to just realize that hey I'm not gonna die like someone doing something someone you know lying or cheating on me is not gonna kill me it's not going to kill me like I like I I'm you know what's gonna kill me staying put in a staying put and being unhappy because somebody who hurt me they hurt me and they left and I'm gonna stay and be unhappy, that's gonna kill me. Not moving on and, and going off to go get my blessings, that's not gonna kill me, you know what I mean? So, sorry, um, I think you're leveling up, which is good. So the conscious thoughts, inner desire, seven of cups, seven of pentacles. I think you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something to happen. Um, eight of pentacles, reverse. Um, so you're waiting for something to be grounded. Why? The Five of Pentacles reversed. Um, you're definitely waiting for something to be grounded. The Seven of this, all these cards are Pentacles. You're waiting for something to materialize into reality. And the reason why with the Five of Pentacles reversed is because it will help you come out of the cold. It'll make you feel closer with whoever this person is. You know, maybe you're waiting for a relationship to come in or a relationship that is, you, maybe you try to manifest a relationship or you're trying to, you know, bring someone closer to you. You know, it, everybody's in different spots, I'm feeling like. And so this reading is kind of like, forgive me if it's jumpy. Um, you know, I'm not trying to jump all over the place. I just feel like there's so many different people that this reading resonates with that I'm trying to speak on their situation. So I don't mean to confuse you. I'm sorry if that's the case. Um, but I feel like, you know, bringing whatever this is in would definitely make you feel more connected with this person. Or bringing whatever this is would definitely just make you feel more connected in general. Um, but it's going to take time, all right? And once again, if your energy is guarded and you're focused, but you're focused upon letting it go, but when your energy is guarded, you can't manifest this stuff. Now, I think you are manifesting this because you're letting down your guard. So I'm not even going to go, because I feel like sometimes I'm hard on you guys. Sometimes I am hard on cancer, because I feel like sometimes you guys, personally, I just feel like sometimes cancer you just get too much in your bag and it screws you up so I just I want everybody to thrive I really want every single person on this planet to thrive and be happy I think everyone deserves that um, and so when I see people you know getting in the way of them thriving I'm gonna say something I mean I am the Queen of Swords I'm gonna say something um, you might not like me for it but 
if you make a change from it, even if you hate me while you're making the change, and you find the love of your life, then I'm happy about that. Okay? Okay? And the universe blesses me back for it, for being who I am. So I'm going to keep being who I am. But I also don't want to be toxic either. So if I could reach you in a place of more love, I'm going to try to do that. So that's what I'm trying to be, you know. I'm trying to... All right, cancer, you know, like, okay. <laughs> um, but I see you wanting to bring this in. I think you can have this now. I think you're much closer to whatever this is that you're trying to manifest now. You're definitely a lot closer to manifesting a relationship or manifesting a grounding because this is not just a relationship for a lot of you guys. You probably, some of you guys are already in a connection, but it's you guys are far, far apart or you guys are not, it's not grounded yet. Maybe it's not, um, it's not, you know, you guys didn't build anything yet, you know, and it's not going to be built. It wasn't going to be built before, but now it's going to be built because your energy is shifting. But you have to allow for you to release more stuff. Okay. So that's very, po this is a positive reading for cancer. Okay. So what's coming in the near future? What's going on this week? All right. In love. How are we leaving off this week? What's the near future energy? Hey, six of wands. All right, we got a victory. Hey, so a cancer. All right, so um, I see a victory here. Hey, coming out of limiting beliefs. I know that's right. Okay, taking back our power. That is lit. All right. Okay, so we're taking back the power. We're not taking action yet, though, with the King of Swords. It is just one week, so relax. And we are on a quarantine, so don't worry about that. But I, I really see taking back of power, breaking out of a mentality that made you feel trapped. We're coming out of that. <laughs> um, and we're definitely seeing things a lot more clear. So you might really connect with me this week um, because I feel like you're seeing things in, in the way that I'm seeing them, which I'm not saying I'm seeing them in the perfect way in the whole wide world but i think because the king of swords is here and i vibrate under his energy i really think you're gonna really understand what i'm saying and i think you will really get and you'll really see where i'm coming from you may not totally see where i'm coming from but you're gonna see where i'm coming from why is that important i don't know <laughs> but <laughs> this is really positive nevertheless all right, so we're getting clear on what we want. We're feeling like we're able to do it. We're ge we're gearing up, okay? The King of Swords is when we gear up and we take action and we don't give a fuck. You know, we just took it, and that's what it is. So you're getting to that point because you have to remember there is an overbearing character, right? <laughs> there is an overbearing energy that was in the way, right? And that was in the way as protection because there was habits that needed to be let go of. Everything happens for a reason. So even if this person is not really acting in the light of God, if God's letting it happen, it's for a reason. It's so that you can let things go. In this particular case, you had to shed old habits, old, old weight, old burdens. So even though maybe their intention was to keep you guys apart or to break you guys up, I'm hearing, it's, it's not going to break you guys up. It just, if anything, it made you guys stronger. Um, because you're shedding old patterns and old beliefs that maybe would have caused you guys to break up if, if it wasn't there. But <laughs> we're about to do an alley-oop and we're about to take action and we're about to not care. So let's see why we have this confidence in the near future. Cancer. Why do we have this? The Eight of Wands reversed. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. I want to know more about that. The Oh, you know what that is? Breaking out of a particular pattern. Eight energy is very karmic, including the eight of wands. Even though it's a nice energy, we like it. But eight can be a little bit of a revolving door. Okay, so it's letting go of a bad habit. But until strength shows up, we didn't really break out of the habit, right? Until strength shows up. Then we're done with doing things that way. But because we have the eights here, we're still shedding it in a minor way. And this is positive because maybe there's a way that you communicate. Maybe there's a way that you do things that is kind of repetitive. It leads you in the same spot, but you just keep doing it. But I think that the reason why you're feeling more confident is because you're not doing something the same way anymore. 
and as a result it's like you're taking an opportunity with the four cups reversed here that's beneficial for you it's like you're seeing the glass half full instead of the glass half empty and it's raising your confidence it's raising your self-esteem the queen of wands is here i love her she's like the sun um so queen of wands is here you're definitely feeling a lot more confident if there's any word i could say about this week it is confidence 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 cancer super super duper positive you're not doing things the way you used to anymore you're not you're not doing things the way you used to that lands you in the same spot you're making changes you're breaking out of karmic patterns and so you can ground something to reality that's very important to you we have pentacles it is very important to you you're willing to do the work for it but there's just certain beliefs there's certain energies there's certain emotions that have been in the way that now you're clearing up so you have the confidence and you have the wherewithal and you have the savagery the king of swords is a savage people who don't know him look at this guy like oh my god like where's your heart you know people who don't know him and they see him acting they're like yo what but he gets what he wants he gets to where he needs to go he doesn't care he cares, but he thought about it, and he, this is Aquarius, right? He doesn't care, all right? He said he was going to do it, and he did it. He did that, and he's not going to lie about it either, all right? So that's where you're, you're getting to a place where you don't care no more. And, <laughs> and the thing is, it's like, if, you're, if there's something that you want, you're not going to let it. This is an important energy to ground something to reality because it's like, I don't care what's going on. I'm going to ground this. I don't care who's saying what. I don't care about this ex-baby daddy and this person father and this person, you know, ex-boyfriend. I don't care. I don't care about that. I'm grounding this. I don't care. All right? This is what I want. Or maybe you were the king of wands reverse and you were the wilting flower and now you're stepping up and you don't care no more. And you don't, you're not going to sit there and wilt away because of some other dude. So that's what I'm seeing here. All right? And that could be vice versa. If you're with somebody and they were they were pussying back, <laughs> excuse my French, because of some other guy or something around you, they're not going to do that anymore, because they're realizing that that was that was a limiting belief, and that's preventing them from grounding the situation down to reality. All right. So the energy. I don't see these cards. The Oracle energy paradox. Life lessons. I don't see these cards. Right. It talks about breaking out of karma. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to see, to know the lesson and blessing that they contain. So we're focused on breaking out of limiting patterns. We're focused on breaking out of karma. We're focused on creating a whole new reality. Cancer, you're manifesting right now. You don't have time for that. All right? You're the magician in the whip. You're about to go get yours. All right? You don't have time for that. I'm really seeing that. In the beginning of the week, I'm seeing... You know, moving away from old behaviors, you know, oh man, I did that again, damn it. I, you know, I'm trying not to do that anymore. I did it again. My, I'm sorry, my bad. But nah, you're, you're, you're way past the way you used to be. So you don't even need to bring that up anymore. You just got to keep going in the direction that you're going in. You're good. Canty, you're good. All right, that's what I have for you guys. I like this week. This is a good ass week. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time. Toodaloo.